Hi guys, I just want to share a quick thing. Um, lights, you know, we all have them, we all uh, use them, and they take a beating, and uh, sometimes they stop working. Well, it doesn't always mean that you have to throw them out. I just want to share a quick thing of what I've actually found a surprising amount of times. You know, if you got a bad light, it doesn't hurt to take it apart. Otherwise, you're just throwing it out. You're, whether you buy a snap on one or wherever, good luck getting warranty for that. They're, they're not warrantied items. If you're really tight with your, your tool truck rep, uh, they might toss you an occasional one, but yeah, more or less, you, your light stops working, you're, you're out of luck. Well, weirdly enough, I've seen this a lot. So if you look right here, hopefully I can show you. Does that show right there? So that light is red because it's charging. Now, I don't think my other one's fully charged yet. I got these neck lights from Snap-on. I think I got two of them. The other one's here. I think I paid maybe 75 a piece for them. You know, I'm working in a tranny shop here, so the, when you're underneath a vehicle for a long period of time, they are handy. Now. This one here, it stopped working, and what would happen is, as soon as you plug it in, it would go green. Even though there was times where I've had this thing unplugged for a long time, the battery would be long dead. You plug it in, it goes green. Well, that tells you that the charge port is not connected to the battery. Or, more accurately than that, the battery is not connected to the charge controller. So, as soon as you plug it in, the, the circuit board in here senses that, hey, the voltage is good. So it turns light green. So if you see that, then it's worth pulling it apart. The other thing too, that's also a possibility, I'll pull this one apart in a second. On this one here, one of the lights was working, the other one wasn't working, then I kind of tapped it, and then it started working. It's actually been working for quite a while, both of them. but. I did notice on one of them or both that one of the lights weren't always working. So again, these are things you can take apart. Now, you know, especially in this case when it's just not working at all, you got nothing to lose. So in this one right here, on this side here, there's these four little itty bitty uh, number one Phillips, it might even be zeros. Uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. You just have to take my word for it. Um, eh, yeah, just little guys. So you take those four out and then there's the, the rubber protector. It's got its little, little tabs. You just kind of peel away from the, the plastic backing. Now, when that comes off, it exposes all the goodies inside. Now, can you see that very well? I don't know, maybe I'll get you a better light kind of behind. All right, how's that? That's probably got a lot of glare. Do you see all these little connectors? Weirdly enough, you wouldn't think this should happen. I don't know how this happens. They back off or either that or they just weren't very tight to begin with. I've seen it so many times and sure enough, that's what the problem with this guy was. I just pushed one and it moved. So you get something like a little pocket screwdriver and you just go on them gingerly, of course, and you push on it. You push all the little connectors together and yeah so on this one two of them moved and then now after them uh, moving like that I plug it in and <laughs> wouldn't you know it it's charging so uh, this should this should light it's been plugged in for a bit hey look at that that's a thing of beauty so I'll put that back together in a second well actually maybe um, if you don't mind, well, we've got an arrow. Presumably this only goes one way, so I don't know, can you see that? An arrow. Arrow goes to one way. Um, I 
don't know. But it looks like we got a bunch of tabs up here. So I'm sure it only can fit, I'm sure it'll physically only fit in one way. Seems like it wants to go in that way. So, uh, of course every single light's a little different. You're gonna have fun kind of getting used to them all. Oh, now the battery wants to fall out. Sometimes these things don't wanna come apart. Sometimes you gotta do a little hope and a prayer. Now, they say, supposedly, that snap-on stuff, that if it says snap-on, that it's made in the States and it's quote-unquote quality. Now, some stuff is licensed snap-on, like the Costco junk. You can get these really crappy lights. But supposedly, if it says snap-on, supposedly that means or it's supposed to mean that it's, that's the good quality stuff. Not always the case, especially with lights. This is probably made in China. Uh, and it's probably rebranded. Supposedly, Blue Point is all the rebranded stuff, but you know, who knows. So we'll just put all this stuff back in. And like you saw, try not to drop any of these. Of course, all these plastic, these little screws going into plastic. Use hand tools, don't use power tools. They will over tighten really, really easily. And then what happens is on the other side of this plastic, I'll show you in a second when I pull apart the other one, the, those little pegs that have the, the threads in them, those can break or strip out. And, uh, well, then, then your only option is to glue it. That's no fun. So speaking of no fun, this is probably kind of boring at this moment. But basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to pull apart the other one and show you what I mean because the one light, the one side of it wasn't working that well. I'd have to kind of smack it. So I'd have to assume that one of those connectors is unplugged because it had a connector in the center. That would be the battery to the, the circuit board. And then one on either side, which is goes out to these little LED lights. So I'd have to assume that when I pull apart the other one, it's going to be, they're not going to be plugged in all the way. And I've encountered this on other lights, other snap-on lights, other non-snap-on lights. And it's weird. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a matter of robots putting these together and they err on the side of caution with those little connectors. But this thing is working. Uh, I'll plug that in. It shows red, so it's charging. That's a good. And so this guy here, so we'll kind of do the same thing. We'll just quickly whip out these little screws. One of the things I really like about these lights here, these Astro lights, you know, sure I've abused the ever living snot of that one so much that it's no longer rigid. The other one's not bad. Uh, I've had them for quite a while now, a couple of years, and I use them all day, every day. Uh, they come as a pair, so, you know, when I'm not using one, or as soon as one dies, it goes up on the charging mat, and then I grab the other one. So I got those things on all day literally one of them's on 80 percent of the day and uh one of the things i really like about them is when the light flashes like it's going to die well twofold first of all when those things get low on charge they don't dim which is nice uh these do dim but one of the things i really like about them is when they flash to let you know that the battery's getting low freaking things still keep going for a solid hour or so you know, there's nothing worse than you get a light that lets you know that's getting low and then before you get a chance to do anything, five seconds later, it dies on you. But the other thing I really like about them is they got the, there's a little charging mat. They got the, the charging coil inside them because all of these little, uh, the, the wired in ports, you know, 
for automotive stuff they get so dirty and that's usually one of the things that goes but so I don't know how well you will see this but you just kind of pry this up on this particular design you pry up the plastic piece a little bit until you can get the the weather seal out there we go now we can probably get of course I'm sure this is starting to get a bit of junk in there come on it's almost there it, it, uh, let's see if we can't get one of these sides up there we go okay good and I didn't rip it there we go um, so as I was saying earlier with the screws be really careful because these guys right here they'll break really easily and that would be bad so yeah, let me just reach around <clears throat> Okay, so we'll <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Push the battery back in place a little bit. Hasn't exploded yet, that's good. We want to be careful of the wires because sometimes they catch. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but right down here, there we go. It was catching on the wire that goes over to this light right there and that should be good enough uh, hopefully it's not too much glare maybe I'll turn that away just a little bit can you guys see that hopefully so so this one right here maybe Let me see if I can get a picture on my phone. All right. All right. Well, maybe I can put one of those pictures up close. Uh, I don't know how well you'll see that, but this this connector right here for this light sure looks high. So hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna push, and that pushed in a little bit. Well, be careful, you don't want to knock off the solder joints, of course. We'll try and push this one a little bit, that didn't move. And this one right here, that moved an itty bitty bit. Um, anyways, that's all that was a matter for this one here. Let's make sure that uh, she still lights. Uh oh. Now I've done it. Or is that just dead? Oh no. Did I push you too hard? Uh, I don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just a dead battery. Well, I believe so. Or was that, did I do something bad to the battery connection? Because the center one here is the battery. So, I would have thought there should be some charge in here. There we go. Okay, yeah. Perfect. So, wait, okay, well, we'll call that good. <laughs> um, like I said, you know what? Sometimes it, it's finicky business. You kind of want to just do it to lights that are dead because then you're not losing anything. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you know what? If you got a dead light, take these things apart. You never know what you'll find. Sometimes you find some of the weirdest, craziest things. Something as simple 
as those little connectors not being plugged in all the way. Uh, I have found some of the, the wires, especially on the snap-on lights like this. Um, where did it? Yeah, there we go. These style lights here that bend down that far, I found a lot of times wires break and I've had a few times where I was able to solder them together and get them to last a little bit longer. That's one of the things I like about these lights. They don't bend fully down because that's just kind of asking for trouble. But anyways, what can you do? Lights are lights. They're expensive. They're annoying and they don't last forever. But uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully you can bring one or two of yours back to life for a little bit longer. So you're not spending all your money on the stupid things. And uh, yeah, uh, if you had any issues with your lights or you found anything, you know, leave a comment. Feel free to pass this along. Hopefully you can help out some other folks too. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.